Hey guys, let's have a quick look at the most common mistakes you can do when using the VLOOKUP function. The first problem you can have is blanks or non-numeric values. We can use functions to fix that up. The second one is the wrong column order and you can have the wrong lookup value. This is specific to some of your lists. Now let's start. A mistake not that easy to find is within the lookup value itself or also within your supplier article list itself. So we got some not available in the cells and if we have a look at the article list itself we can see that all these articles like art006 are actually there but we won't get any results. In case of string values inside your cells this might be due to a space after the value itself. So if we delete that space we get a value. How to fix this? We can always use the trim function, select our text and now we can autofill it till the end, copy this and simply paste values and now we got all our results. There is another case when this happens with numbers too. In this case you can always try the value function which is basically the same. It converts a text string to a number if Excel is able to recognize it. Maybe the most common mistake when using the VLOOKUP function is inside your table array argument. We look for our supplier article ID and if we have a quick look at the supplier article list we can see that the article ID itself is not in the first column of our list. If this is not the case our VLOOKUP simply won't work. So we need to take column B and move it to the left. Therefore I select the column and when I drag it to the left I simply hold the shift key so it will be inserted as first column. Now our VLOOKUP is working. So let's have a quick look at this pretty common VLOOKUP mistake. You can see we have a lot of not availables in the cells. This is because we simply choose the wrong lookup value. When you got a list like this, where you got an article ID, a supplier article ID and an old price and you also got the list by your supplier, you might be confused because your supplier will call it article ID. In your own list it will be the supplier article ID and maybe you focused on the headers so you choose A2 as a lookup value which is simply not available in the supplier article list. If we change this to B2, so our supplier article ID, we will get our results. I hope, I, hope, I, hope, I hope this helped you figure out some mistakes you or your colleagues usually do when using the VLOOKUP function. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like or comment below what you want to do next time. See you, bye!